Team, I get a lot of requests for side dishes and starches, so I want to bring to you one of my absolute all-time favorites. This is the Palms Anna. Okay, palm meaning apple of the earth. Uh, we're talking potatoes here, uh, and it's super easy. Not a lot of moving parts. Let's get directly, indirectly, into the oh. <laughs> So like I said, not a lot of moving parts here. I've got some ghee. Oh, gr grass-fed ghee. So if you want to spend the extra bucks there, uh, but just clarified butter. And you can do this with butter at your house. Uh, if you like, or grocery store, just get your clarified butter. A uh, little bit of salt and potatoes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin peeling these potatoes. And we don't want any of that peel left on there. Could you do it with the peel? Uh, no. This is a very classical dish, and we do not derive from the classics too much, okay? So, and I don't even use pepper. They used to use white pepper because black pepper looked like uh, dirt, right? They were worried about people thinking there was dirt in their potatoes. But I just go straight salt on this. And beauty. All right, clean off our cutting board. Whoop. And now we're going to run these potatoes through a mandolin, and we want them to be able to bend from end to end. So set up nice and neat, and we'll run a couple through and just see what our thickness this is feeling pretty good. All right, let's check. And you want to be able to fold these end to end without them snapping. So the fact that they can touch tells us we're at the right thickness. You can see through it a little bit. See my finger moving back there? That's right where we want it. We could go a tad thinner, but I, I like it. A mandolin is one of those tools that's just essential in the kitchen. It's going to give us exact uniform cuts of thickness that we want for things like potatoes. Uh, you make waffle fries. There's a thousand different uses for it, but you want to make sure you're being safe. Use the guard when you start getting down towards the end of it, uh, and just take your time because it'll get you if you don't watch out. But it is imperative that you be safe and it's also super nice to have very versatile tool in the kitchen look at that perfect uniform little pieces of potato uh, and we did it so fast we didn't even need to put it in a bowl of water so it didn't oxidize right uh, so now we're going to transfer all of these gorgeous slices into a bowl and we're going to put a little bit of ghee that we talked about earlier and a little bit of salt this is our opportunity to make sure that we are uniformly seasoned. And you know, potatoes just drink up salt. So we're gonna go a little heavier uh, than you would say if you were just doing some straight vegetables or even uh, seafood. Okay, so everything is nicely coated with salt. Now let's go in with a little bit of the ghee or clarified butter. And we're gonna toss that around. Uh, now, I've stabilized my grill at an indirect temperature of roughly 375 degrees. So let's walk on over to the grill and examine the setup. I've put a nice cast iron pan there, and I'm going to start by putting just a little bit of that ghee right on the bottom. And now we're going to make a kind of serpentine circle here. Remember, well, I don't say remember, I haven't even said this. We're gonna flip it out so what's on the bottom is going to end up being the top. It almost looks like a potato cake. So this is where you're able to put a little arts and crafts design in the top, I'll show you. When we get to this point right here, that's when we wanna slide in to have that serpentine kind of look right there. And that keeps the circle going. Now we do the same thing for the next little layer. Now that we've got that first layer it's a, it's a little less important to make it look great. So now we're just gonna start filling in. You can go a little faster. If it's double stacked, that's okay. But shing, shingle it a little bit. And we're looking for even thickness all the way around with the rest of the potatoes. Now, when I was trained to do this dish, it was inside in a kitchen, okay? And we went ahead and covered it up with foil. But one of the benefits of doing this outside is, and you hear me talk about this, is using our fuel source as a secret ingredient. So we're going to leave it uncovered for the first 15 minutes and really let that natural lump charcoal flavor set in so it can have that of the grill flavor. So we're going to drop this dome and just let it cook for a little bit and let all that smoke from the natural lump charcoal in the grill adhere to the potatoes.
Those bubbles are everything I wanted to see right now. Not too aggressive, nice and gentle. Uh, and I can see the ghee coming out from the different layers. That tells me everything's becoming compact. Now it's time to wrap. We've got that grill flavor going on. Uh, let's wrap it and we're gonna cook it for another 45 minutes or so at 375 until it is fork or skewer tender. All right, so we're gonna peek in in about 45 minutes. If it needs to cook longer, it needs to cook longer. But let's check it in 45. Looks great. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I can tell already by the, the waves, the glistening, that this is going to just sink right through. No worries there. All right, so next thing we'll do is pull these beauties off and let them sit out at room temperature for about 10 minutes. That's going to allow all those starches to lock in uh, and become one large potato cake and you can see they're already tacking up they're doing really good but it's going to be easier to flip this and have one gorgeous piece if we just give it 10 minutes rather than doing it hot straight off the grill so 10 minutes team you want to make sure to have a plate larger than what you're flipping on we are dangerously close to not being large enough Ooh. yeah that's that's close team perfect uh, yes exactly <laughs> i love it i love it uh, handle's still hot, so we're going to use a little guy right here to grab, make sure we got a good handle. We're going to put this plate directly on top, and you can do a cutting board like this if that's easier for you as well. And then we're just one motion going to flip, and then we're going to set it right on. Oh, not bad, not bad. Lost a little of the, you know, we just take a little spatula there. Nobody's got to know. Do a little potato glue. It's not like it's on video or anything. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it's been a minute. It takes a little time, okay? Uh, but what we have is just a bunch of deliciousness, all right? Uh, and I can tell it kind of mushed here, and then all that was was just probably a little too much butter. So in the recipe, when I write it, we'll, uh, we'll address that, and I'll have the what I would suggest for your proper amounts. Okay. That's gorgeous potato. And I'm a, I am a potato fiend. I love it, I crave it. Uh, this is a lot of fun. This dish is so much fun, Palmzana. Let's try to cut a little, just a little wedge. You could serve this as is, like a cake almost, but I like, I like the little wedge. Maybe a fun little flavored sour cream or something like that with it. Dude, look at all those layers. Stop it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Where, where are you going? Woo! Sensational. And that was three ingredients, okay? Uh, do not overthink your side dishes or potatoes in general. But my goodness, can they be the star of the show? I mean, that bite was just everything. It was butter, it was potatoes, it was salt. That's that. That's it, that's it. Uh, team, if you enjoyed this dish as much as we enjoyed cooking it for you, don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe, like, hit the notification button so you can get more of this action. And as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy growing.